reporter for Leah. In honour of the US Armed Forces Day on May the 20th and the UK Armed Forces Day on June 24th, we've put together a video to talk about Leah's military transition scheme. Keep watching to find out more. So, hi, I'm uh, Dave Tucker. I'm the, the senior training officer here at Lear, responsible for delivering worldwide training, not only here at our head offices in Huntingdon, but also at many locations around the world. A training can be delivered face to face, but it can also be delivered through online platforms. Other roles and responsibilities here within Lear, I'm also responsible for running the new military training scheme. My background, I spent 24 years within the Royal Electrical Mechanical Engineers as a recovery mechanic, stepping out in 2014 and have been with Lear ever since. So the military transition scheme is uh, currently being revamped up just to meet the modern needs of both the association and indeed service leavers. It's designed to help uh, both members within the association, but perhaps more focused on the service leavers themselves. So service leavers, whether they are leaving the services due timing out at the end of their uh, contracts or indeed through other reasons, have the opportunity to enlist into our scheme within six months of leaving and the scheme remains valid for two years afterwards. It's designed to support worldwide leavers regardless of their experience, professional trades or indeed arms. So for example, based upon the United Kingdom uh, forces, it's open to both the Army, the Navy and indeed the Royal Air Force. And how can people get more information and join? Information is available on the Lear website itself, which is where the service leavers may enlist or enrol into the system. That will actually then come directly for me for approval. Once they're enlisted onto the system, they then have two years to complete our foundation course, which is a worldwide certificate recognised, obviously, around the world. And the training is free. Um, I'm W1 ASM, our TIFS assault major, Tom Basford, currently serving in the, in the core of the Royal Electrical and Mechanical Engineers, so the beloved REMI. Raj was established back in 1993 in support of our REMI personnel, so our transitioning soldiers and officers, whether they've uh, end of their contract, they're running, running out, or they've decided to put their notice in and go into their resettlement phase, which is a minimum of 12 months of return of service. But during that 12 months period, they'll be able to conduct resettlement activities, engaging with uh, all organisations, companies, attending career events and advertising themselves open for work, basically, for their transition out into the civilian sector upon leaving the forces. The top level piece is the Career Transition Partnership, the CTP. So I definitely recommend if you're an engineering focused company or an organisation in general that would like to recruit ex-forces personnel into your organisations, bringing a, a lot to the party, please feel free, definitely engage with that top level CTP piece, Career Transition Partnership. And CTP hold the, the contract with the MOD to provide tri-service resettlement. So that's our Army, Navy, RAF, Royal Marines as well. Um, and so that's your top level umbrella for resettlement services to our, to our personnel transitioning out from the forces. In addition to those, so you have got specific agencies, charities that work closely with the CTP and Raja, Remy, my role, uh, my unique role, uh, we are part of those agencies. Raja is supported by the Remy charity uh, and the Remy charity there, like all the other charities that support the other cause, the other cap badges, the other services. So the White Ensign, for example, for the Navy, you've got the RAF Benevolent Fund as well. All these great agency support agencies of Raja specifically supports Remy personnel. So Remy service leavers, veterans and reservists. How is Raja unique? So Raja is it's engineering focused and, that, and that's where the Raja links in with Leah. Leah specialise in lifting assurance and lifting capabilities. That's where one of our trade groups, we are well, a couple of trade groups within the REMI. So we've got vehicle technicians, vehicle mechanics, uh, but we also have uh, recovery mechanics. So the recovery mechanics are, are like the AA, the RAC to the, to the British Army's fleet of equipment and vehicles. But a specialist uh, role that they also conduct is is lifting inspections on our chains, on the on the cranes, on on the shackles, all the all the lifting equipment that's used by by the military. Our recovery mechanics deal with with the inspections of all those pieces as well as our vehicle mechanics as well. And that's 
within Leah, there are some ex Remi. There's other cat badges as well, other forces, ex Navy within Leah as well, the organization, but there's also ex Remi. And that's where the link with myself in support of our service leavers and, and Leah works. I, I literally um, spent 23 years in the military. I was fortunate enough to go to a military event highlighting Leah, the benefits of joining Leah from the military understanding also from the background that what the military personnel can bring through engineering discipline and and work rate as well so in the military i served with the royal electrical mechanical engineers my job was a recovery mechanic the role involved recovery vehicles and a lot of that involved lifting equipment winches trains all the accessories so from UK based in Germany back to UK and I've spent a lot of time in and around there with different units with different variations of vehicles and support that they they needed spent time in Belize with operational tours maybe uh, in the Balkans regions but didn't do or is it Oh, young enough to be there for the first Gulf War, but we did deploy. And the second Gulf War, I was actually in Belize at the time. My name's Robert Rorison. I'm an ex-Chief Petty Officer in the Royal Navy. I served in submarines for 26 years. I then joined the lifting industry. When I joined the lifting industry, there wasn't what we call a military transition scheme. I had to get a civilian company to pay for all my courses that I'd done. But I would recommend anybody that's leaving the armed forces just about to just about to leave the armed forces to go through the military engagement scheme the military engagement scheme will give you a free foundation course on completion of that then the world is your oyster companies are always looking for lifting engineers so please consider it i would highly recommend it